people who lost their job due to this crisis. What is your story? I haven't been laid off, but I answer for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and we are having so many calls where someone is thinking about killing themselves because they were laid off. It's absolutely awful. I have no answers for these people, and I wish I had the power to provide for them. Hey, I also answer calls for Lifeline and the Disaster and Distress Helpline. It's ducking rough on the lines right now. Sending you lots of support and love. That's a hard job to begin with. Damn. I'm a housekeeper at a hotel. Last week they cut our hours from 40 to 32. I was just informed that tomorrow they are shutting down the hotel. Front desk, sales team, and bartenders are being laid off for the time being. Housekeeping will now work 24 hours a week for 2 weeks to deep clean the hotel, but who knows after that. I'm a housekeeper in Maine. I found out Thursday that I'm being laid off indefinitely. Thursday I had a job, Friday I didn't. In one week, I lost both of my jobs. I worked at my university and a hotel, had to move out of my apartment, can't pay my $800 rent, landlord not helping, and had to switch to online learning as a music major. No way in hell will that work. It's 4.58 in the morning. I woke up from a nightmare and woke up in a nightmare. My experience is pretty unique. In a nutshell, my wife and I live in New Zealand and had planned a two-year working visa in Toronto. We were supposed to leave in April, so we had obviously already handed in our notices of resignation to our bosses. Long story short, Canada shut its borders and my boss has already hired my replacement. As a side note, they shut the borders on my birthday. Hey man, just wanted to let you know I arrived in Toronto on that same two year visa from Scotland like two and a half months ago. I got a job and everything set up and now it's all been thrown into disarray and I'm sort of stranded over here, at least until things calm down. I sort of wish I was in your shoes, minus the replacement stuff that sucks regardless. Stay strong and who knows, maybe see you out here at some point, if my lungs don't implode. Oh wow, that just ruined a whole two year plan. Good luck. I was a bartender. The bars and restaurants were shut down. I was actually relieved because, not gonna lie, I was afraid of dealing with so many people and all the glasses. People world just kept coming too if the state hadn't shut us down. You're right. No doubt they would have kept coming in. Our governor just scolded the community, because while the bars and restaurants were closed as of Monday, he stated that he didn't want social gatherings of more than 50 people. So of course, there is a park slash playground area in a part of town, that actually has a higher concentration of virus confirmations. And just yesterday all of these families took their kids to this park. People stated there were probably 200 plus cars in the parking lot and tons of children and adults hanging out together. The state police eventually shut it down. However, it caused the governor to now take more drastic actions and ended up closing other facilities that were still open to the public. And now, only groups of 10 or less allowed, and he's enforcing this rule by law now. He was visibly pissed. Agree. People were coming in, getting close, I'd have to touch their dirty plates, and I've seen people coughing. A lot of people just don't give a truck. Construction. The whole construction site was laid off, and with the way things are going, the company owner thinks it'll be at least a year before they consider hiring me back. Started 3 months ago, and that's at least 50 other people affected just for this site. The company had several other sites that they laid off employees too. I'm just lucky I'm still living with my parents, and dad works his online it for the general public, so he's nice and busy. Wow, I wasn't expecting construction to be an industry hit this soon from this. As someone who does it for my company I can vouch for being busy in this field. We are slammed in this chaos. I honestly thought our projects would get slowed down or put on hold. Nope. Instead we have to still do those and all these urgent items and chaos that's resulted from this situation. We're heading fast towards burnout. I haven't lost my job, but my small software company instituted 30% pay cut across the board. They say it'll be re-evaluated every month. Clients keep cancelling or postponing projects. So I'm good this month, but could easily lose it next month. I'm just happy they decided to cut pay instead of fire 30% of the workforce, so everyone can keep their health coverage. 
that and I'm not sure I wouldn't have been part of that 30%. Having the same concerns here, dev for a large software shop exclusively serving the auto sales industry. If we have to shelter in place for a few months and nobody buys cars our cash flow is going to disappear. Lots of people out of work, thousands? Might be a good idea, to look for remote work in the medical industry, before every dev that's been laid off in April is competing. Also remote work companies will be in high demand providing tele something services, and probably ISPs as their oversubscribed customer base suddenly using services 24 over 7 is going to overwhelm them. Maybe cloud slash auto scaling experience would be good here. My husband got laid off on Tuesday. He works about 3 minutes down the road from my work. He showed up at my work with tears in his eyes, apologizing to me for not doing good enough to be kept. He works at a car dealership as an auto technician, where they let go of 4 techs, that day cause of decreasing business. They are letting go of more people this Saturday. My brother is a mechanic there, and is scared to lose his job too. They told my husband, that when business picks back up, they might call and ask him to come work for them again. Thankfully, I work in the lab of a hospital, so my job is pretty secure. I keep telling my husband, that we'll get through it, but I know it's taking a toll on him. I've read through dozens of these posts, and they're all heartbreaking. But we will all come out the other end for the better, I hoping for anyway. Having said that, as a former tech, it's say good riddance to the industry. I know that sounds incredibly insensitive, because it was income, I know and I get it. But the auto industry, specifically dealerships for techs is a hellhole. And the audacity to say they might hire him back please. I feel for him, because I know, that feeling of I wasn't good enough to keep around. But if he feels, that much sorrow over it, means he put his heart into it. Someone like him needs to get into a career where has valued, and that's certainly not tech life. Wishing the best for the both of you. Hoping someday to come back, and Reed has kicking ass at whatever has doing. Your post really touched me. I hope he knows that there's a season forever to thing. He'll be able to contribute again. My mom works in vacation rentals doing housekeeping. She's 61, diabetic and has COPD, and lives in a state that has mandatory shutdown of all non-essential businesses. When she was informed they'd be laying people off, but also staying open, she told them she's afraid of getting coronavirus, and they laid her off so she could collect unemployment and continue to pay her bills while staying home safe. I was laid off from my 5 year graphic design job, working for a screen printing and promotional products company. About half of our business involves schools, sports and events. Obviously none of that is happening currently, so our business has stagnated. They are going to try to operate with a skeleton crew for the next couple months. The hope is to bring everyone back eventually, but I'm not optimistic. Solidarity. I'm a web developer, pretty much the same industry. Fabric decor, projection screens, giant shade structures, etc. I'm optimistic things will bounce back eventually, and I trust my CEO that I will be called back when that happens. He's always been extremely good to all of the employees, and we are good friends at this point, but I'm not optimistic that it'll happen within the next few months. My family owns a small screen printing and embroidery shop. We've been hit hard since all our business is schools, restaurants, bars, and large social gatherings. We've stayed open since we had a few large jobs left this week, but looks like we have to lay everyone off on Monday. It's horrible to have to lay off our employees that have been with us for so long. We hope to hire them all back, but who knows which of our customers will still be in business once this is done. Government assistance cannot come quickly enough. Stay safe and good luck out there friends. I just finished my training as a flight attendant for a major European airline. It's been a dream of mine, and I have been putting my love and energy into this training for the past months. I'm in Cancun right now, and it's bittersweet, because it's absolutely beautiful here, but at the same time this was my last training flight. I'm now a fully trained flight attendant, and yet noon knows when me and my other new colleagues will actually be getting our work contract, since the airline industry is suffering a lot right now. I think I will cry when landing back in Frankfurt tonight, because I don't know when will be my next flight. But I will put on a brave face, and genuine smile for our passengers, at least I will do my best. 
I work for an airline here in the US. I like your positive attitude, hang in there and veal gluck. Classical musician here. Every orchestra had to cancel concerts for the next 8 weeks. Unsure if any of the concerts will be rescheduled. Many orchestras are waiting to see if the Act of God clause will be applied. If that is the case, musicians will not be paid. Most summer orchestras are still programmed, but there is high chance will be shut down as well. I'm a substitute teacher. If you are aware that most schools are closing, if they haven't already, then that should explain why all subs are now effectively unemployed. It's unlikely that schools will return during this situation, so yes, thousands of people are out of work just from that alone. Subs don't make salary, so any employee who is hourly or paid by day now needs to scramble. Edit, because so many people are unsure whether they should file for unemployment or not, and are in a similar situation, being a substitute or a different employee, that was hourly or a position, that was cut due to our current server be juice instances, please do, you absolutely can and should file for unemployment. It may take some time with the influx of applications, but this situation is what that government service is for. I extend my best wishes to everyone, and their friends and families. I hope you all stay healthy, and hold on to hope. Be smart and safe, my district is paying hourly workers for what they would have worked. They are looking at what they usually make to help make a decision as to the amount you get on each check. They just approved it this week, same here. My district closed last Friday, and I was working, when they announced over the intercom, that school would be closed. Seeing all the kids hooting and cheering, while I was trying not to freak out over losing out on my income, was a test lol. Needless to say I'm pretty much out of luck, and rumor has it, that school might not reopen this school year. I've been saving up for a big move so this threw a wrench in that plan.